Hello guys, how you doing? Uh, thank you for joining me in our very first tutorial. This is going to be a fun one. We are going to be creating an 8mm effect on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Before we get started, you're going to also need Photoshop for, for this effect. Uh, I know there are some plugins that, that we can use, but this is an alternate way to those effects. So your rendering time will be a little faster. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, go ahead and open Photoshop, uh, create a new composition, and you're going to go to Film and Video. And when you get there, just select the uh, HDTV 1080p. That will be fine. Go ahead and create that one. Make sure that the background is not locked and uh, press Ctrl I to invert the color. Once you do that, go to your selection tool and we're going to create a semi square, I guess a rectangle. We're going to try to emulate the 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So it's going to be a rectangle, but uh, very close to being a square. So uh, let's try to go ahead and center it. All right, so Photoshop is not giving us a guideline, so I'm just going to eyeball it, and that looks about right. Anyways, uh, we go to our Select menu, and then uh, on Modify, we go to Smooth. We're going to select 25 pixels and then hit OK. That's going to round up the corners of our square. We go again to filter. I'm sorry, to select, modify, and then feather. Uh, on this one, we're going to do a 10 pixel ratio. We hit OK. And with that, we just hit the delete key. And now we have our framing. We're going to save this as a PNG file and we're going to name it framing or really you can name it whatever you want but I'm going to name it framing save and OK with that out of the way we're going to open Premiere Pro and in Premiere Pro we're going to import three assets uh, our first one will be the video that we want to uh, convert to 8 millimeter or to apply the 8 millimeter effect the framing that we just created and the texture that we're going to be applying to our footage once we have our three assets uh, we're going to grab the video that we want to apply the uh, effect to and we're going to create a new timeline with it. Once we do that, we are going to go to color or tab color. In the elementary color correction um, menu, we're going to bump the exposure by 0.5. We're going to lower the contrast a little bit. Whatever you see fit, for this one I'm going to do 10. The highlights, I'm going to uh, get them up to uh, about 30. And also the whites, they need to go up as well. I'm going to do 25 for this one. So it looks a little washed out. So you see those whites and those highlights, they, they go up. And that's mostly because the 8mm uh, footage, uh, it's a little washed out. Once we have those, we're going to go to Creative. And then we're going to lower the Sharpen. Uh, let's do about 30. I'll say that, that that's good. And then the vibrance, I'm sorry, I, I put 30 as minus 30. And then the vibrance needs to go down as well. 
probably about 30 as well so it should be minus 30 there you go check our footage there you go once we do that we're gonna go to curves and on curves we're gonna create three points and then we're gonna work on the blacks we're gonna try to uh, get him more to be a little higher about that and then the whites a little lower and then the middle point we're gonna there you go so as you see that one is gonna plot in the image a little bit and it's gonna create or help that washed out look for the eight millimeter footage so um once we are done with that we go back to editing and then we go to effects in effects uh, you're going to type posterize you're going to get two options posterize and post posterize time grab posterize time and drag it to your to our footage and as you notice we have a 24 frame rate we're going to lower that to 18 and that's pretty much it for our footage we're going to go back to our project and now what we're going to do is uh, remember that piece of footage I, I was telling you about that is going to give give us the texture we're going to drag it and put it on a separate layer right on top of our original footage and then also we're going to grab that uh, framing that we created in Photoshop and we're going to put it right on top of the other two so we should have these uh, three layers on top of each other now we're going to grab the middle layer which should be our texture and on the opacity section in our effect controls we're going to select the overlay option and that should give you the texture that we desire I'm going to play this there you go that looks that looks pretty good and uh, the only thing that is remaining is to render this so I'm going to render it and that's going to take a couple of minutes so I'm not going to have you wait uh, but I'll be back in a second all right guys so we are done rendering and uh, here it is the final result all right so there it is so if you have any uh, comments or questions make sure to leave them uh, in the comment section uh, if you like the video give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.